Hey there, everybody. Um, thought I'd give you an update on the Chuck E. Cheese's experience. This is for the beta. I know I haven't updated you guys on anything recently, but behind the scenes, I've been doing a lot of experimenting, and some of you have been able to um, experience a lot of the updates uh, over time. I updated the Kid Shack, because that was long overdue. Um, unless you are an em employee, and by employee, I mean selecting one of these avatars. Oh, by the way, we do have more employee options. Um, you gotta click that. That's how you enter the back, and that's also how you enter this little room over here, which says employees only. I've also updated with a photo op with Chucky. Thanks to Bitwizard for modeling this Chucky. This was right before Rockstar came into the picture. Um, I also added a bunch of plushes. We're going way back, guys. <laughs> Jeez, the lungs. Um, yeah, so we got plushes all modeled by Bitwizard. Thanks to Shiny Happy Jen for providing pictures of her Chucky plush and Munch plush. Um, and then in regards to photos, we added Wild West, and some other posters that I've updated as well, especially with adding Helen. I still need Munch of Pasquale. Booths were updated, obviously. Um, and then, this used to be the, uh, a prototype, um, this used to be the Kids World stage, which then I converted to a, a early version of the Awesome Adventure Machine, which played like, Don't Hurry to Worry. And now is a 2.5 stage. I've also, thanks to Bitwizard, uh, Helen has been updated. I modified her head model so she can flap her mouth down without having to expose anything. Um, then Remina, we have a guy on the team named Remina who uh, updated Jasper. And then uh, Bitwizard did the rest. We also got a new Madam Onk, which I can showcase in a bit. Uh, we got a brand new Wink that works for one show, Mailman Railroad. And I think I'll be able to demonstrate that we have working video as well. So let's take a little look at that real quick. The reason why this is a 2.5 stage for now um, is for obvious reasons. Uh, the three stage characters aren't fully animated to um, any shows yet, except Chucky. Uh, but I don't think we're using the concept unification show for Chucky since that's only for Together We Got It, and they're supposed to be part of rock and roll as well. But yeah, we got working TVs, and um, the best part is for this. And I've tried to optimize it as much as possible. When you stop a show, it does play a segment on the TV, so you'll get no dialogue uh, sketches with um, the characters, you know, goofing off and stuff. There's um, two sponsored uh, intermissions. You got the Coca-Cola intermission where Chucky's driving around in the warehouse and the Blockbuster in intermission. You also have uh, one CEC news segment. Uh, about Pasquale on the moon made of cheese. Uh, so, yeah. As far as um, the Avatar room goes, I did at one point experiment with Chucky right here, where you'd click him and it'd bring up like a live show thing right here. But I scrapped that in place of adding more video, because really, um, when it comes to VR, we'll see what happens. Um... We do have the functionalities for, you know, the one stage where Chucky has his turntable. But yeah, I also did add this thanks to Lapis Block for the new snout, um, regarding, uh, you know, Munch's Make Believe Band masks when they were updated, converted from, uh, Pizza Time Theater, where the snout is totally different. Uh, we also, also, if you notice, the wall is gone. 
Um, I removed that just because, you know, having the lights turn on and off, people were getting confused. Yeah, I know. If you're a hardcore fan, you know why the lights would turn off when a show would start. But, you know, uh, not everyone understood and it freaked people out. But yeah, you got all the outfits here. Not all of them yet. Uh, I hope to add more. And Jasper fell off. Hopefully the pizza's gonna be updated, because this is like from Cooking Mama. Um, we still got the cups here. Oh yeah! That's the piece of resistance. Um, it actually feels like you're somewhere. Um, you're not in a void anymore. And this is just for the beta. And, uh, there's also another, uh, part of this where you can change the exterior of the building. I'm actually waiting for the truck. There's a car. There's a truck that's supposed to- there he There's the bus. Um, the exterior changes based on the stage, so if it's a Munch's Make Believe Band stage, you get this exterior. But if you have, say, um, a Pizza Time Theater stage, it'll change outside too. So really, I'm providing a lot of customization options here. Because this beta, it's always going to be public. So everything I change in here, people are going to see. Um, everything in the upgrade is... We have no date, exact date for when the upgrade's going to release. We're going on year two soon. So we, the team and I agreed on doing a location, a real location, for everyone to be public soon. Uh, which will be Northridge, California. Uh, Dr. Shaw's local. Alrighty, so, uh, in regards to the exterior, so let's say I pick the balcony stage. Let's respawn. This is what, isn't that cool? Yeah, now let's go pick, um, something like, let's pick something from the merger era. So... I think Rocker Stage would be a good choice, so now let's respawn. And you get this. And if I wanted to choose that work that applies for the rocker and the uh C stage. If I pick the roads oh yeah, Rocker I, I don't think that's been updated. We added plants, by the way. Thanks, Shaw. Shaw modeled plant pots. So let's pick the road stage. Get the modern. Well, I guess you could say, what is this phase three or phase four? I grew up with this logo. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I even lowered this. <laughs> but yeah, in regards to everything else, um, everything coming up. I don't know if we're gonna add tubes in the beta. It seems like a stretch. I'd love to. Um. But we'll, only uh, progress will tell. Oh yeah, I should probably show you guys um, characters like Madame Onk and Dr. Duck have also gotten an update, upgrade. So if I were to go choose a Madame Onk show, Wonderful World of Swing, there she is. Oh yeah. You can also customize Chucky, so you got his tux, his old uniform, and then you got Cool Chuck, or Avenger, I should say. Here's Madame Onk, and Do uh, Dr. Duck also got legs. That's about it with the updates, but yeah. Um, other than that, uh, nothing really changed uh, aside from the layout. I just made more advancements to keep people occupied, because I know there aren't many games in here. I'd love to add more in here, um, but that's basically why the upgrade is being held back, because we don't have many games. Uh, but yeah, uh, and everyone's more than free to, you know, record their shenanigans in here whenever. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And pl thanks for your patience. I know this is a long wait. This project is over two years old. I can't believe I made it this far. 
not just me. If it weren't for the people on my team right now, we've got I've got some talented people working with us. With me. Um, without them this project would be nothing. It would it would just stay the same as it was a long time ago. So yeah, thank you all for your support.